must wait. But before that, I'm going to tell you a little bit about air. Did you know the air in the Earth's atmosphere is made up of approximately 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen. Air also small amounts of lots of other gases too, such as carbon dioxide, argon and hydrogen. Here's a list of things that we need for our experiments. We need two balloons, a few rubber bands, a small bar, or even a 30 cm ruler, and a safety pin. First, we've got to blow the balloons. Once you have blown the two balloons, you got to tie the mouth of it so air won't escape. Yes, just make sure that the two balloons are approximately similar in sizes. Then, you should tie the strings to the two ends of the ruler or the small bar you've got. Now, it's the most challenging part. You've got to balance the ruler or the bar from the middle so that the balloons are in balance with each other like in a scale. Once you've balanced your ruler from the middle like this, take the safety pin and prick on one of the balloons. What happens now? The side with the balloon that has air slants downwards. Wow, Sally, why do you think that happens? Well, this happens because of the air inside the balloon and its weight. So, it shows that air does have weight indeed. Yes, indeed. I hope you guys enjoyed my little experiment. You can try it too and tell me what it was like. Mama, let's enjoy some music. Oh, yeah. That's a wonderful idea, Sabin, after a long day of science experiments. Let's go. Please don't forget to subscribe and like it. See you next time. Bye.